is Paul. Yes. You know, um, I understand that a lot of businesses, um, they provide free Wi-Fi as just a convenience for those that they go to the, the business to visit with. Yes. But there's what's known as the violation of privacy, interfering with one's basic right to privacy, <laughs> such as exposing someone to unwanted uh, public notices or publicity, photographing someone without uh, their knowledge and publishing such photographs, etc. Now, for every business that provides free Wi-Fi, I don't think they actually have a right to interfere with the use of it as long as you are a customer that purchases something. Yes. Like I bought a cup of coffee. And to single out, target individuals that you have a personal hatred towards. Yes. Could be a violation of privacy. <clears throat> Now, let's say I did sue every security guard at Olympic Medical Center because, and I said, well, do you know which of these phones is mine, coach, and which are theirs? Ouch. Now, to use any sort of technology to violate the privacy, I would have you put in prison there, security. Mm -mm. Now, I know you might be the big dog in your mind. Mm -hmm. But for any hospital to violate the privacy of the actual use of the electronics of a paying customer, yes, because they just do not like the person, and they said they owned the hospital, yes, I would say, well, then you have to pay the expenses of the hospital. I mean, <laughs> now, did you want to show me a badge again? Because I'm just a customer buying a cup of coffee. Did you, did you want to kick me out? I thought that any person in the public, right, would be welcome to purchase any of the food items in the cafeteria, yes, and you would never violate the privacy. Now, there could be a big lawsuit in this. Do you think I can prove what? Okay. I noticed that last uh, video loaded up so good. Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, tax-exempt, yes, non-taxable income, such as income earned from ownership of state or municipal bonds, yeah. Quite often, hospitals uh, could participate in the tax-free income available to those that invest in them. Could you get me the actual bonds of every hospital in the United States that said, well, we're, we're a necessary asset of the county? <clears throat> I'm thinking that violating the privacy of any patron of the hospital, any patient of the hospital, or any visitor <coughs> could violate the covenants of the bonds. Now, get me the actual bonds of every hospital. Now, maybe you need more expenses for your debt costs. I mean, did you say that you actually own the hospital? Yes. Yes, sir. You know, a lot of individuals, they don't understand why uh, some of these obligation bonds to build hospitals are so important to the community. Yeah. But I'm going to need to know every investor that thought that when you invested in the building of a county hospital, yes, any person that's a paying patron <laughs> that has a justifiable reason to be, <clears throat> even if it's just a cup of coffee, mm -hmm, should never... Oh, just give me the bonds. I want to know every bond of every hospital in every county where you receive. Now, as an industrial, did you want to continue to obstruct my rights as a patron of the cafeteria? <laughs>